this is what I got. I got the pineapple habanero sour. Uh, I'm making this face because I have the blue bitties. I think it's supposed to be a blueberry mead. It's just awful. I have it too. It tastes like regret and poor life decisions. 10% alcohol by volume does not make up for how bad this tastes. <laughs> oh, it's sour. Really? But it's not bad. It's a good kind of sour, for sure. Like, mine's just sad. Mm. Like, it's very lame. There's not, not really any flavor. Here, let me, I, I want to switch up. <laughs> Okay, wait. You had the pineapple. This was called blue bitties. That's the yeah, pineapple sorry. habanero sour. Habanero sour. So uh, one second. I just swapped out. I got the the blueberry cider from the Seattle Cider Company. Ooh, this tastes like chopped up wood cider. <laughs> <laughs> and this is delicious. It's just a pretty straight cider. Wow. Mm. The snozzberries taste like snozzberries, and this tastes like sadness. Oh man, this, this is bad now after having that. That ruined this. <laughs> okay, wait, I gotta sample this. Hey guys, I have hepatitis. I hope that's true. <laughs> they did make it better. He said they changed the recipe. That's pretty good. Yeah, this it was is not good. that good. Last what was year. this? I, I, it's a blueberry cider, cider from Seattle Cider Company. That, that's actually good. It did. Super good. It washed away the tears of the blue bitties. You wanna try that? Yeah. That's you really good. should. It's a nice chaser. Oh, that's good. Yep. That's like blueberry oatmeal oh, cereal. You set the bar so low that the only place to go is up. We are not very far from the Elysian Brewing tent, and we are trashing it. I will say this is probably the best cider <laughs> I've ever experienced. I mean, not cider, uh, sour. 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 The, no, the sour was actually It doesn't bad. punch you in the face. It doesn't taste like a warhead. This is good. It just kind of shocks you at first. Mm. Mm. You know what? i got to shoot the rest of this, and I'm sorry. Five out of five sour. What do you give? How many stars out of that? None. Zero no stars. stars. I have negative stars. They should give me a star for a drink. Negative. <laughs> negative four. Negative it's four. It's a good thing we didn't give you a token. Yeah. <laughs> right there. The Smack IPA. And I got the pl Planktonic Red Ale. I got the beer salad, and they're all from Jellyfish. In South Seattle. That's amazing. How does that happen? It's because they have more than one selection. So, cheers, guys. Cheers. Give our review. Mm. A little bit bitter to me. Not bad though. Like it's not bad, and I'm not a huge bitter fan. So this is a red ale, which is pretty good. But I've had better red ales, but that's not bad. It's mellow. Uh, mine tastes just like salad. It's got like radishes and arugula and shit in it. Really? It tastes exactly like that. And I find that very refreshing. Oh yeah, that's got a good smell. I've swallowed worse. No, it's not bad. It is an ale. Um, I don't know where we are in this musical booze. That's my <laughs> the salad. salad. I literally feel like I tossed a salad right now. Wow. Well, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Yes. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> depends. Was there Taco Bell involved? This yes. is the red ale. Always. The, the red yeah. ale. Actually, I really, really enjoy good. this red ale. Uh, it's really good. It's mellow. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of the Silver City. It's really yes. Just a lot less hot. <laughs> yes, definitely. Is that yours? No. Nope. That's it. <laughs> This is All right, for a red ale, I think it's a uh, 4.5 out of 5, I think. I would give it 5 out of 5. It was really good for a red to me. I liked it. It's mellow. I can day drink and not feel guilty. Yeah, I'd say 5 out of 5 for that red as well. Mm -hmm. You're the Russian judge. How good do you feel right I'm now? I'm the jerk, but and it's my beer. I chose, I chose this <laughs> red ale. I, I've had a, one better red ale than this. That's why I said 4.5. Man. What Sanders do you give that? Uh, I mean, for the uniqueness, absolutely 5 out of 5. Yeah. It, it's you could probably eat it with a breakfast, nice. couldn't you? Yeah, I could. I could eat this anytime. <laughs> I have smack. I, I'd say it's a little more intense than the um, yours was just the salad, right? Yeah. The salad, like it, it feels more intense vegetable-y, if that makes sense to everybody. And so that's why I actually like the salad more than this. I would give this a three, and that's a that's a hard three, not a soft, flaccid three. Ooh, hard three, huh? Hard that three. means you're kind of excited, but still disappointed at the same time like yeah, most of the women time. i've been all right and go so what do you have there aubrey i have the head pin ipa okay i like it it's to me very much a traditional what i feel is ipa you know okay. a lot of it doesn't not doesn't have a lot of the sweet like some of them do it's more your so when you give it a smell and tell me what you think of your initial reaction to the smell of it yeah? yeah, delicious. Yeah. Just like a taste, right? Yes. Go yeah, figure. It is. Yeah, I, I have to admit, I tried another IPA. I don't remember the name of that one. So, yeah. but uh, it, it was not very good. This, yeah. 
this you're gonna get a that. Thumb up. Yeah. yeah. Good. Good. What do you got there, Katie? Except I'm holding my glass. Yeah. I have the brew pineapple wheat. Okay. And, uh, I really like it. My first taste. Uh, it tastes kind of like pineapple juice and beer mixed, which I actually kind of enjoy. So it's a pineapple IPA? No, it's a pineapple wheat. Wheat? Yeah. Okay. And you're still getting t undertones of pineapple? Oh, there's a lot. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's hit you in the face pineapple. It, it is. Yeah. And ah. so I give it two thumbs up because it really, it, it's like you put pineapple juice it's in unique. it. Yeah, it is. It's unique and it's refreshing. Is it does it fall under chick beer or is it still good enough for anybody else? It might be on the borderline of chick beer. Yeah. It yeah. sounds is it sweet? Um too sweet for her. But if you like sweet, right? I don't like I don't even like sweet ciders, but I like this. Because yeah. I feel like it's kind of sweet but it also has that wheat that wheat kind of it, it balances it. Balances it, yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah. Really that makes good. sense. That yeah. makes sense. I like it. Cool. Well, thank you for your beer reviews. Anytime. Appreciate it. Cheers. And we're on. All right. So I got the uh, cucumber ghost. Can I introduce myself? Yeah. Sure. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Greetings. Uh, Scott Kerman at Slaughter County Brewing. Whispers? Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Joseph Rogers, uh, <laughs> comedy and kids app, uh, attempting to be a comedian. <laughs> Failing. So what do we got here? We're drinking, um, we're actually rather than drinking my beer, we're drinking Fremont because um, we're down here by this. You've you. got watermelon, no, uh, cucumber ghost. Cucumber ghost, yeah. And I've got their Spice Wars uh, Dark Star. Uh, it's a bourbon barrel aged um, uh, Imperial Porter, I believe. Yeah. Uh, the Dark Star, the bourbon barrel Dark Star, I've had them before. And they're, they're one of the best beers I've ever put in my mouth. So. More than happy to it's definitely this. a compliment coming from you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've had a lot of things in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? Let's put right here this over there. Smells like cucumber. Yeah, this one, all I get is caramel. This has got like nutmeg and cinnamon, so cinnamon caramel on This is like a salted cucumber for sure. Have you smelt it yet? <laughs> Smell that. Well, I got it. There you are. Mouth rich. Rich, rich. That stuff's amazing. It's so thick. Ooh, the mouth feels amazing. Aroma. Try it. Look at that. Oh, this, this smells horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes here. like a salted cucumber. It smells like a garden. Probably from here. Yeah. here. Tom, tagging out. Yeah. Ooh, this tastes like a shot of something. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's nice. This is pretty good. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it tastes like it tastes like bourbon, and it's got yeah, it you really get the spices, vanilla, kind of it all on it. So stars out of five. How do you guys rate your uh, rate your beers? Out of five, I give us like seven and a half. <laughs> like, it's really incredible, and if, if if you ever see this on tap anywhere, I highly recommend it. I give it a four because rum and whiskey are my least favorite shots, and that's what it tastes like. But I give the hats off to the creativity for sure. Um, this cucumber, it tastes like I took a cucumber, put some salt on it out of my garden, and just dug in. So I give it a, a two. Yeah, it goes, it goes <laughs> with a salted beer, so that's a uh, uh, that's, that's salted beer. It's, it's actually pretty good. It's a pretty good ghost, to be honest. I've never, this is my first I don't, I'm not a fan of it, but it's a, it's a pretty good style. Uh, yeah, this is, it's a cucumber beer, basically. Yeah. <laughs> so. Alright, Scott, well, thank you very much. Cheers. Appreciate it. Cheers. Right Reverend Brewfest. Okay, good afternoon everybody again. Joseph Rogers, Alan Johnson back with you at the Bremerton Brew Fest. So, what beer did you get? Uh, I got the New England IPA from Dog Days. <laughs> I got the uh, Dark Caramel from Dark Days and it is fantastic. From Dark Days? <laughs> Dog Days, okay. I got the Dark Caramel. So this is like our eighth review, so... <laughs> we're, we're hurting. And by hurting, I mean oh we're feeling God. really good. So we Dark need... Days Brewery. <laughs> I mean Dog Days. And you got the caramel? I did get the dark caramel. What did you get again? I got the New England IPA. Tell me what you think of that. Mm, so my glass is actually garnished with caramel. You might not be able to see it. Um, so it's kind of, it's the salted caramel. And so it actually accents it very well. And so it's sweet, it's salty, it's everything you need. I feel like I need to eat pizza or something greasy, which isn't bad, it just accents the booze. Uh, what did you get? This New England IPA is uh, a really good IPA. I think it kind of matches the overall description of what an IPA should taste like. 
You know, it's got some bite, it's got some uh, flavor, hoppy, very hoppy, but smooth at the same time. That's nice. So now we do the awkward part where although we swigged out of it, we're going to swap because that's what good friends do. I'm already sticky on my fingers. That's the beauty of the garnish. Uh, the caramel, huh? So I'm smelling. Uh, it smells sweet. It smells citrusy. Hmm. Well, we know how Joe feels about it. I love that beer. Uh, this is actually citrusy and sweet. That really is my style, and I do like it. Oh, it's slippery and salty, so it's salty and sticky. Take that how you will. Uh, it's really good still. Um, yours wasn't bad. It's very citrusy. When you smell it, you bring it up to your nostrils. You really absorb everything you need to. And what makes that good is that it's not a surprise. Like you've had something you've tried, maybe you were new at drinking, like I'm just gonna take a shot or a drink of this without any, any thought. And then you immediately regret it. This, it's nice, it's easy on the nostrils, it's great on the taste buds. A um, little bit of washout, like take a swig of water, try something else. Mine's a little more strong, a little more sweet. So it's going to take a little more water to wash that away. But all the food at Dog Days, I, I'm going to rate mine 5 out of 5, but I am a sucker for something sweet. How do you rate yours? Uh, the IPA is really good. I give it 5 out of 5 for sure. Um, but I am a diabetic, and I think I'm going to slip into a coma here soon because of that drink. Uh, I'm a because, future diabetic, whoo, tell you and what, I feel good. I don't like sweets, first of all, uh, and I'm diabetic. Oh man, that sounds horrible. <laughs> it's so good. That is so horrible. It actually is really good. Oh, it's if you like, got a sweet tooth, I totally recommend this drink. Oh, it tastes like uh, putting too to much go, syrup to on to pancakes. There is no such thing. Oh, I mean, I will say it for creativity. I love it. I'm just not a sweet guy. That's way too overpoweringly sweet. Like I. It tastes like I'm licking sugar off of my girlfriend's sexy body. And I also believe it tastes like that licking be sugar off his girlfriend's sexy body. It's delicious. That should not be done in public. So <laughs> I disagree, I but that's all I say. So again, Joe, thanks for our reviews here. Yeah, like, okay. cheers. Yeah, cheers. I'll even do the yeah. part I licked off. Yeah, uh, good luck with <laughs> that. Right, bye, guys. No. Okay. The uh, beer review, I have the golden ale infused with Valencia oranges and peaches from Volhall Brewery in Hallsbury. 4.8%, let's give her a try. And I have the Angle Amber from Ten Pin out of Moses Lake, Washington, which is a beer I haven't gotten to try yet, so I'm very excited. While you're trying that one, I'm gonna say that this one is very mild. I mean, it is four point something, but this is mild, it's very smooth. This is awesome. Yeah? Yeah, it's got a uh, <clears throat> real malt forward with like a, uh, like a almost Oktoberfesty sort of uh, Munich y uh, with a hint of chocolate and a little bit of like maybe rye spiciness going on. Not much, uh, it's hopped to balance, but not not a huge hop forward beer. But this is, this is going to be real popular with. Your amber drinkers, Oktoberfest people, people who like that, you know, uh, autumn seasonal sort of flavor. This one's gonna be for uh, Thanksgiving when you don't want to get too drunk because you don't like your family. Mm, so, uh, yeah. Peaches and oranges. I choose typically to get extra drunk at Thanksgiving. So, an IPA of choice usually? Mm, or schnapps or, you know, just moonshine. Or just straight Jaeger. <laughs> <laughs> So you want to switch her up? Oh yeah! Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. yeah. What if What if we did uh, this maneuver? Oh, we... here we go. Here we go. <laughs> what? No, let's That's do this. Still drinking yeah. the same beer, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got some multi. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> the The homoeroticism gives Ooh, me kind of a chubby. That is good. It is Ooh. good. It's really good. It sort of tastes like. Uh, it's got an aftertaste of like methamphetamine breath and uh, chew tobacco. <laughs> I'm sorry if I left some of the residue in there. Oh, that wasn't on purpose? I thought the brewer may have uh, put that in. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, no, it's good. <laughs> um, but yeah, this that is really good. No, this is banging. Ten pin. They, uh, they're, they're, the sign that they had up had a, like a dozen uh, Washington Brewers Festival Gold Award, so apparently they know what they're doing. This is the first time I've gotten the uh, opportunity to experience their beer. It also tastes more chilled than the other beers, so they they got that. It's cold. Yeah. 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 Temperature. Yeah, and it's a hot day, so they've managed to keep their beer temperature down. Yeah. Yeah. Were they, they borderline geniuses over there or something? Yeah, something like that. 
Autistic? Mad genius? Or what do you call Asperger's? Mm, could be <laughs> alien overlord. Yeah, <laughs> definitely uh, planted here from another alien species from another I, planet. Or another dimension. I, I think the word everyone's looking for is idiot savant. This from <laughs> behind the camera. <laughs> well, yeah. That, that's what I go for. You, you can't you can't be an idiot savant if you're not an idiot. So. <laughs> we'll have to go there ourselves and check out the brewery. Where is it at again? Moses Lake, Washington. Moses Lake, quite the drive. <laughs> but we'll do it. It's worth it. So, all right. Well, thank you, Jesse. Appreciate it. Hey, Cheers. thanks for having me on. Yeah, 2017 Brew Fest. Hell oh. yeah! Woo. Real quick, Jesse, where do you where do you work at and brew at? I brew beer at Lovecraft Brewing Company here in downtown Bremerton, Washington, 275 Fifth Street. Awesome. Love the shameless advertising. <laughs> you asked. Beautiful. Yeah. I did. I asked so hard. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, everyone take care. All right, so this is the uh, water review. We're going to take a look at how good the water is here, Brendan. Awesome. Tell take us. a drink and tell us what you think. Well, it's the Kirkland Purified Water. Kirkland? Yeah, uh, apparently. I'm, I think they're from Kirkland, maybe. Kirkland, Maine? Hell, I know. Oh, uh, okay. Well, it's made out of 50% re recycled plastic, so... Maybe that'll make it taste better, huh? All right, let's see what we think. Does it taste like the polluted ocean? I've tasted pure. You've tasted pure? Yeah, that's what I say about MDMA usually. So, uh, Brendan, how, besides the water, how goes your hunt for bitches? How many have you gotten so far? Two. You got two lined up already, huh? There's plenty of ladies here. Are we gonna believe him on that? Nope. I don't think so. Uh, so how many stars do you give that water out of five? Three and a half, because it's nice and cold. <laughs> but it did cost a dollar. Well, it did cost a dollar, yeah. It wasn't free. I mean, if it was free, maybe... <laughs> so 50% of it was made from recycled uh, plastic, right? Yes, yeah, so and that was the only 50% that was good. <laughs> oh, so you like that dirty water, don't you? Uh, I yeah. like a lot of things dirty. <laughs> oh, okay. Well... Water is one of them, I guess. So we got that. All right. Well, thank you for your water review. I mean, it's not as good as that uh, the African water, you know. Well, I don't know what you mean by that, but I think you meant to say Aquafina. I don't. Know. <laughs> um, Probably. Because they don't have rivers in Africa, as far as I know. Well, they have creeks. It's one of the biggest rivers in the world. No one's ever heard of it. <laughs> that was um, so what we're gonna do is we got the freshwater review. Now it's time to go do a, a salt water and a fountain water review. You ready? Go. All right. Okay, Brendan, uh, go ahead and feel like you're scooping in there and we're doing the fountain water review. Yeah, fountain water review. It's all right. How's it taste? How's it taste different from the uh, freshwater review? It tastes like someone might have pissed in it. Ooh, that's uh, probably good. homeless. Guys, I peed in the sh I peed in the fountain before we got here. <laughs> well, here maybe, maybe this it tastes like lead poisoning. Maybe the stagnant water will be better than the waterfall water. Let's take a look. Yeah, here. Yeah, scoop some of that out and try it. See if that's any better. Oh, I really want to see you just like shoot right here. No, he's gonna drink it. How is that? How does that taste? Warm. Warm? Like Tastes someone pissed warm. in it? No, like uh, when you go to use one of those water fountains and the freezer doesn't work on it. Oh, okay. Mm. Just warm and tastes sort of like ass. <laughs> and not the good kind. Not the good kind of ass. <laughs> All right. Well, like, cool. you know, that's Paco now. Yeah, the more you know. Thank you, Brendan. Well, how many stars do you give the fountain water? Two. <laughs> Two stars out of five. Okay, that's okay. good. I promise Brendan's gonna taste it. Please don't shoot the whole thing. Oh god. He's actually trying to do a solid sometimes. There we go. Ugh. This is the salt water review. How does it smell? T tell us the smell before you shoot it. It's alright. Just a little bit. Oh god. <laughs> oh, 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 that's horrible. So if you had to rate rate the salt water zero. review. Now why is it zero? Like tell us the taste, the texture, what food would it accent it. It tastes like salt water, duh. What food would accent it? Are you getting any like boat marina life at all in there? Uh, I felt like I swallowed a fish. <laughs> You're not gonna like this. Uh, okay. All right, so there's Brendan Graham with your salt water reviews. So thank you everybody.
Joe, what are you? What are we gonna do? So uh, this is the uh, piss drink prank. This is where we pee and replace it with someone's beer who has set down their beer. So mm. sounds terrible. Yeah, I'll be right back. And now <laughs> we got it. All right, we definitely got it. Okay. This fucking. I'm mad that they took down our table. Yeah, but I'm, down our fucking I'm pretty thing. stoked about your shirt because, like, literally everyone's coming up to us stuck by your shirt. I think appreciate you, that. I think I should probably it's, just jump off. It's this really thing. good. Don't definitely don't do that. I, think I should just jump definitely off. Definitely, that you can't get back in. If you do that, I think let me back. I mean, I doubt it, but. Guys, are we pissing there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.